Tavernier's given it away. Neto decided not to come. Samedo right inside of his penalty area and wide of the near post by Sarabia. And again, the Cherries dug themselves a bit of a hole. It's got a deflection past the post and Wolves get the corner. And this time, on the far side, it was Marcus Tavernier who got himself into trouble. Solanke again there, loses it on the edge of the box, but Bournemouth keep it alive, and here is Solanke, right-hand side, flashed across to Tavernier, and can you believe it? Marcus Tavernier had a difficult first half, to say the least, but four minutes into the second half, he's put Bournemouth in front, a close-range finish for his third goal of the season, and how the tide can turn in the blink of an eye at Molyneux, it's Wolves nil, Bournemouth won. Well, how the tide can turn, you're absolutely right there, you've nailed that one. All of a sudden, we get a slight breakaway down the right. I think Dominic looking was, he chopped it back, and yeah, it's just a little side foot in. Just having seen the replay, Willow, from an offside point of view, it looks okay. Moore was a bit nervous. I think it's come off his knee, Willow. Well, it's about time we had Solanke's some more. cross on the right hand side, just seeing a replay now as it comes in, it's off his thigh. And here it comes, Wolves have got numbers here, Adama Traore, right-hand side, sets it to the edge of the box, great block by Stevens, throwing himself in there as Cunha pulled the trigger. Corner for Wolves, Sarabia, in towards the six-yard box, the gold shirts are queuing up and it's tipped over by Neto, as the header came in, Neto wasn't quite sure if it was going to hit the woodwork from Dawson's header, and it's another corner to Wolves.